It is hard to imagine a more frightening situation than an in-flight fire. With thousands of pounds of fuel in its tanks, an airplane is a flying powder keg. Accidents that have led to fatalities even after successful return to the airport was made are not uncommon. That is why modern airplanes carry a load of fire prevention mechanism to stop an occurrence and suppress if fire does occur. The system starts with fire zoning of an airplane. These are designated areas named by the manufacturer to require fire detection, suppression, and or inherent fire resistance. It is important that we know about the circuitry and the basic schematics of an anti-fire system for an aircraft. So we have Mr. Kuduk with us today who will walk us through the basic fire system on board an airplane. Okay. My name is Mohammed Gudouf. Today, well, our topic will be the fire extinguisher system in the aircraft. As you know, the fire extinguisher system in the aircraft is very essential. And we'll start with actually a location of which area we protect it from fire. Such as we have the engines and the APU. Also, we have the cargo system, the lavatories and the cabin as well. And also we have a fire protection for the landing gear. But let us start with the engines and the APU because there is a lot of similarities on it. The, the only difference is the number and components otherwise is uh, almost, almost similar. Okay, here as you see, I would like to just uh, name the components we have. You see at this panel, we have uh, two way of uh, protecting the aircraft from fire. One is through a loop, and this loop is a continuous continuity loop. This loop, it, it might be a single or a, a double, which is uh, actually sensing the heat and the fire as well. This will be used only for the engines and use it in the APU. Now, where are they located in the engines? One loop is located at the pylon and the other loop is located at the bottom of the cowling. Now, if it senses any heat, what will happen is, actually, as you see here, the two torches is the ignition system for the aircraft, for the engines, left and right. As soon as we sense this uh, fire, the, the signal will go to the controller and the controller will send a signal to the cockpit. Now, what kind of a signal or indication we have in the cockpit? One, it is a bell or a horn, or it could be a bazaar. And also you have a light, a master light, red warning switch. And also you will have a message. And from there, the captain, now he has to take an action. This is actually the way he deal with it. He got an emergency uh, checklist. The first thing he do is silence the bizarre or the bell because it is too noisy. Then he will pull the handle for the engine. That handle, they call it a fire switch. This fire switch, as soon as he pull it, what will happen is all the fluid going to the engine will be shut off. Here, the engine will shut off automatically, and now the captain will be ready to discharge the agent from the fire extinguisher bottle to extinguish the fire. This all will go with, with few only uh, seconds. It doesn't complete one minute, and the fire will be extinguished uh, at the same time. As you see here, this is the fire bottle or fire extinguisher bottle, which is full of Usually we have uh, a, a dry or a powder on it. And what it do is it has, at the bottom you see you have two ports. One is for the left engine and the other one is for the right engine. At the bottom of it, 
you have a cartilage and as well as you have a, sequ uh, a squib. This squib, actually it is uh, bladder inside. This will close or uh, uh, closing the, the, the pressure inside the bottle. When this ruptured by the signal from the cockpit, then the agent will go through tubes all the way to the engine and will extinguish the fire. This happened the same thing in the APU, but as I mentioned early, the APU, uh, only one bottle and a small bottle, and because the size of the APU is not compa uh, comparisonly uh, big to the engine, so it will extinguish the fire. The other portion of the, of the fire extinguisher system is also here we have smoke detector. The smoke, smoke detector uh, in the lavatory, it is separately by itself, but uh, also in the cargo, we have smoke detectors in each cargo. Maybe a couple of them in each one. Now the way it works is, if there is any smoke, we have the detectors. These detectors, the way it works out is, uh, it is, they call it is a, a photo, photoelectric system or the ionization, uh, ionization system. Now, either one of them works fine. Once it detects the smoke, it will send a message to the controller again. What will happen is, this message will go to the cockpit. This is the controller. This controller will send a message to the cockpit telling the captain that there is a fire in your cargo. Now, what is the an indication he got? He got a bazaar, he got the light, which is a red light, and also he got the message as well. Then what he had to do is, first of all, silence or cancel the bazaar, and then he has to arm the, ba the bottle, because for the cargo, there is four bottles or two bottles, it depends on the side of the cargo area or the cargo uh, uh, value. Now, what to do is, as soon as he uh, armed the, the, the bottle, then the bottle is ready to go, he will push his uh, toggle switch to discharge the bottle to the cargo and then uh, it will extinguish the fire inside the cargo. But uh, if we go back to the lavatory, the lavatory, it has its own bottle, and also it has its own uh, smoke detectors at the seal of the lavatory, which have an indication to the cockpit. The only indication in the cockpit is it will give a bizarre and a red sign that there is a fire in the lavatory. This lavatory actually, the action will be as soon as the heat go above 70 uh, Celsius, then the fire it will uh, the the fire extinguisher bottle inside the lavatory will extinguish by itself. It has two uh, terminals. The two terminals will be melted due to the heat, and it will extinguish the fire inside the lavatory. Okay. Now what is left is, I didn't talk about is two. One is the landing gear. In the landing gear, if there is any heat or any fire and you have indication in the cockpit, what the captain has to do is, we have no fire extinguishing in the uh, landing gear. What we have is, actually, we have to extend the landing gear down so that, as you know, in the, uh, as you go higher, the temperature will drop and uh, with the speed he has, the fire will extinguish by itself. Just he has to land, uh, sorry, he has to extend the, uh, the landing gear and then just wait a few minutes and he go back, the fire will be extinguished by itself. Now, uh, concern the, uh, the cabin, the cabin is a, a complete system, depends on the uh, flight crew. The flight crew are the guys who recognize if there is any uh, fire in the, cab in the cabin, and also the, the action will be taken by, because of the classes of the fire, the difference, you have class A, class B, class C, and class D. Now, the class A is a fabric, or a wood, a paper, or a plastic. So, in this area, we use the water, which is, 
as you see this is a blue one and this is a water we use it for for the for the class A the class B the class B is actually it is uh, yeah, the, the, the class B it is actually is the, from the fluids the fluid this means that it could be fuel it could be oil it could be any solvent so uh, in that case also we use the this one as you see it could it, it might be the co2 or it might be the helium because this is the one which is uh, modif uh, uh, manufactured for it also we have you know if you have this this the class c the class c is actually it is the electricity or the gas now the electricity it is much better to use the powder the powder ones which is very strong can be used in all areas you know we cannot use water in the electricity it makes it worse okay and uh, the fourth one is from the metal like magnesium magnesium or uh, potassium or any other uh, material will will catch fire and will extinguish it by the uh, helium as well this is about it for, uh, for the fire extinguishing system for the aircraft i hope you guys you understand and follow us uh, and uh, if you have any question we'll be here just uh, don't hesitate to ask thank you good day